More than 300 years ago, the first pioneers crossed the oceans to a new world. A promise called them. The promise of a land where a man could build his own house, farm his own acres, raise his children in freedom. They carved from the wilderness an empire of agriculture and industry. They set for themselves new and higher standards of living. And yet, in one of the great river valleys of America, something went wrong. In the Tennessee Valley, three centuries later, the descendants of the pioneers were a neglected people, living in a ruined land. For these children, the hope and the promise were dead. For them, the only future was poverty, ignorance, drudgery. The struggle to scratch a bare living from the reluctant soil. Even the older men had forgotten that the valley had once been bright with promise and with hope. Horace Higgins was one of the many who had given up the fight. What's the use, he said. You fill up those gullies and the first rain washes it away. It's the same with all the land around here. It may have been good land once, but it's bad land now. Bad land, hopeless land, Henry Clark wondered. Erosion, the scientists call it, the eating away of the soil, the destruction which began innocently when the early settlers cut down the forests, when the farmers, out of ignorance, plowed straight furrows down the hillside. Destruction from the sky. This is the way it was, year after year, in a forgotten part of the United States. This was the havoc caused by greed and neglect, and men working alone and unaided against the forces of nature. Farms, towns, industries smashed, hundreds drowned, thousands made homeless. The energies of the river running to waste, the energies of the people too. Henry Clark's trouble was the trouble of three million Americans in the Tennessee Valley. It became the direct concern of 130 million Americans in the 48 states, a challenge to democracy and its ability to care for its own. 